Number 9. Luana Dorazio Nationwide calls for better workplace safety, both from the public and competent authorities, were issued throughout Italy in 2021 following the death of a worker at a textile factory in Preto, Tuscany province. 22-year-old Luana Dorazio had been employed at the factory for about a year. On May the 3rd, she was stationed at a warper, an industrial machine that features large roll-in bars, which sort out threads. Dorazio's shirt was caught by the machine and she was pulled inside. It only took about seven seconds, according to subsequent reports, for an employee to activate an emergency stop. By then, however, the mother of one's body had already been turned and compressed twice by the warper's deadly embrace. As stated by a technical consultant assigned to the case, Dorazio's chest was crushed and she passed away in the aftermath. The investigation into her death was closed in October of 2021 and it found that the factory's management had prioritized revenue over employee safety. A protective gate valve had been removed, causing the rolling bar that hooked Dorazio to protrude more than it should have. By eliminating the warper safety feature, the factory would have allegedly seen an increase of at least 8% in productivity. Luana Coppini, the company's owner along with her husband reported as the plant's de facto administrator, and the maintenance technician who'd materially tampered with the machine all faced manslaughter charges. Dorazio's passing caused a considerable degree of public outrage, in the midst of which street artist Yori created a mural in Rome meant to honor her memory while also raising awareness about companies that put profit before the lives of workers. Number 8. Lila El Harim a mother of one perished in gruesome circumstances at an Italian sweet packaging factory in August of 2021. After she was dragged into one of the industrial machines that she'd been operating, 40-year-old Lila El Harim, originally from Morocco, had lived in Italy for over two decades. She'd recently started working for Bombonet, a company specializing in food packaging products, and was thrilled about the position as the factory was only 10 minutes from her home in the town of Bastilia. At the start of her shift on August the 3rd, she was working at a die cutter, a large machine used to shape packaging material. It reportedly featured a double mechanical operating block that could only be handled manually. Details of what followed weren't released, pending the conclusion of an official investigation, but at some point, El Harim was caught in the cutting machine. Colleagues alerted the police and medical services arrived at the scene, but there was nothing more to be done for El Harim as she'd already been crushed to death. An update on the inquiry in progress indicated that the victim hadn't been trained to operate the machine to which she'd been assigned, which would make Bombonet susceptible to manslaughter charges. Number 7. Jill Greninger On April the 22nd of 2019, a woman died at a factory in Pennsylvania after falling into a commercial-grade meat grinder. 35-year-old Jill Greninger was an employee at Economy Locker Storage Company in Pennsport and was operating the machine at around 11.40 a.m. None of her fellow employees witnessed the incident as it unfolded, but one did report hearing a noise before finding Greninger's body inside the grinder. She had suffered life-ending injuries inflicted by the machine, which was specifically designed for tearing apart meat. It took 45 minutes for staff to disassemble it and recover the woman's remains. The overall context of the incident remained unclear, but the Lycoming County coroner reported that Greninger had been standing on a set of wheeled stairs at the time. It was presumed that she'd somehow lost her balance and tumbled inside the grinder. The coroner declared her death to have been a horrible accident, but an investigation from the Occupational Safety and Health Administration subsequently found at least 11 serious safety violations at the meat processing business. In October of that same year, Economy Locker Storage Company was fined close to $50,000. Number 6. Regina Allen Elsie In June of 2016, an Alabama factory worker was crushed to death in an incident that involved an industrial robotic arm. It occurred at an Agin USA plant in Cosita, which employed a staff of several hundred that primarily dealt with stamping metal parts for Hyundai and Kia vehicles. During an assembly line stoppage, 20-year-old Regina Allen Elsie entered a robotic station to clear a sensor fault. The line was restarted abruptly while the young woman was still servicing the station and she was crushed inside. 
Elsie suffered devastating injuries to which she succumbed on June the 19th, roughly two weeks before her wedding day. Several authoritative branches, including the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, investigated the incident. Ajid would ultimately plead guilty to breaking the federal standard that required the use of safety protocols, known as lockout tagout procedures, aimed at preventing the sudden machine startup that had resulted in Elsie's death. In November of 2020, a judge ordered the auto parts manufacturer to pay a fine of $500,000 and $1 million to the deceased worker's estate. Number 5. David Spano A Michigan worker was fatally crushed by multiple tons of materials in November of 2020 at a factory in Romeo. 44-year-old David Spano was employed by Romeo Rim Inc., a company specialized in making automotive parts at its main plant. He died after roughly 25,000 pounds of manufacturing mold, primarily used for the production of bus bumpers, collapsed on top of him from one of the factory's interior walls. Spano died instantly under the 12 and a half ton weight of the mold, in an impact comparable to that of a cruise ship anchor being dropped on top of his body. It was initially reported as an accident, but an investigation was launched. It was unclear, however, in its early stages, if Spano had received the proper training in recognizing hazardous situations at the plant. Number 4. Martin Pejril On February the 20th of 2008, a Czech national suffered a painful death in a workplace accident at Britain's largest confectionery firm. Martin Pedril had climbed into a jelly bean machine at a plant operated by Tangerine Confectionery to investigate a blockage involving sweet trays. The starch room operator had limited apprehension of English and was believed to have misunderstood or misheard an instruction to switch off and isolate the device prior to servicing it. The machine then abruptly restarted, trapping Pedril inside, and his body was slowly compressed as two heavy rotary arms sprang into action. A fellow employee tried to turn the machine off but unwittingly pressed the wrong button. Other employees alerted the emergency services and attempted to manually extract Pedril, who was ultimately pronounced dead at the scene. An inquest into the incident found that the tangerine confectionery hadn't had proper safety protocols in place when it came to assigning staff to investigate and clear blockages. The Bournemouth Crown Court was also told that the machine was prone to blockages and would go through up to 40 of them in one shift. The firm was fined the equivalent of $400,000 in the aftermath. Number 3. Matthew Lowe Shortly before Christmas in 2008, a plate welder sustained devastating injuries at a compass engineering factory in Bark, England. Father of one Matthew Lowe was operating a computer-controlled conveyor belt which processed steel beams. At some point during the workday, Lowe's overalls got caught in the machinery and he was forcefully pulled backwards. Lowe's entire body, with the exception of his head, was then pushed sideways through a five-inch gap. Looking back on the horrific accident, Lowe remembered that he relaxed and hoped for the best, knowing he'd be powerless to oppose the machine. His body was mangled and his clothes were ripped apart as the conveyor belt processed him and then spat him out the other end. He was alone in that part of the factory at the time and was found after two workmen heard his pain-induced screams. Lowe was rushed to the hospital where his partner, 29-year-old teaching assistant Kim Swift, was told to expect the worst. The man's face was purple and the whites of his eyes were red due to the immense pressure to which he'd been subjected. Swift recounted that he was alert but didn't know he'd been dragged into the machine and forced through a space that was only about twice the size of a golf tee. The 25-year-old had suffered a ruptured stomach and bowel, a shattered pelvis as well as broken ribs and a fractured arm. Lowe underwent six surgeries involving numerous metal pins used to piece his body back together. He experienced a remarkable recovery but still suffered from panic attacks in the period following the accident. After about 18 months, he returned to Compass Engineering and began training for a supervisor position. Today's topic was requested by Nullix, Liz Williams, Mr. Nah, and Bright Soul Clays. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Zhao In December of 2018, a Chinese factory worker was skewered 
with multiple steel rods after a robotic arm collapsed on top of him. The incident took place at a porcelain plant in Zhujiao in southern China's Ernan province. The 49-year-old victim only identified as Zhao was left in critical condition after the machinery had impaled him with its steel pins. His colleagues took him to a local emergency room and he was subsequently transferred to Xianjia Hospital in the provincial capital. Zhao survived but was left with 10 metal spikes embedded in various areas of his body. They were sharp pointed and each about a foot long and over half an inch in diameter. Eight of them had speared through Zhao's right arm and forearm several breaking through to the other side. One spike had impaled his shoulder while another was lodged in his chest. Because the pieces were long and made of metal, Zhao couldn't be given an x-ray. He was also unable to lie down and had to lean on the assistance of nearly a dozen doctors and nurses. The day after the gruesome accident, Zhao underwent an emergency operation involving specialists from multiple hospital departments. They were successful in extracting the spikes and the worker began to recover. Zhao was extremely fortunate to have survived the accident as the rod in his chest had missed a major artery by only 0.04 inches. Number 1. Juma Junko An accident at a sausage factory in Iloilo City in the Philippines claimed the life of a teenage worker in June of 2019. Juma Junko, aged 18, had been employed at the factory for about two weeks and his job was to package finished products. Junko was assisting his more experienced colleague, Carl David Carlos, who was working with a meat mixer. The latter stepped away for a moment at which point Junko tried to operate the machine alone, even though he hadn't been trained to do so. The teenager got his arm caught in the mechanism which rapidly pulled him in head first. Carlos returned to find Junko's legs sticking out of the meat mixer. He tried turning it off, but the teenager was already beyond saving. Police were called to the factory and they removed his body from the machine, which had either experienced a blockage or the activation of a failsafe as Junko's remains were largely intact. A funeral director later told a media outlet that Junko had likely died of suffocation instead of blunt force trauma. A police investigation was launched, but foul play wasn't suspected, with the accident being attributed to Junko's ill-fated decision to operate the mixer without supervision. Thanks for watching. Would you rather attempt to escape a car as it was being crushed by a giant compactor or try to climb out of an industrial grain silo? Let us know in the comments section below.